In order to manage Azure from a local PowerShell console, we'll need to download the AZ PowerShell module from the PowerShell gallery and then connect and authenticate our account to Azure. The first step we need to do is to verify that we don't already have the AZ module installed. There's no need to go through the effort of installing the module if we don't have to. So a quick run of the get module commandlet shows us that we do not have the Azure modules installed. Well, now that we know that we're not duplicating our effort, let's get the AZ module installed. Now to do this, we use the install module commandlet, specifying that we're looking for the AZ PowerShell module. And we're also adding the allow clobber switch so that if there are any remaining components from previous installs of Azure modules, they'll be replaced. Now, since we're doing this install on a clean Windows install, meaning that we haven't installed any PowerShell modules previously, we're going to be prompted to make a couple of prerequisite decisions along the way. Now, our first prerequisite states that the NuGet provider is not installed and is required in order to download and install the PowerShell module. So we'll click on yes to indicate that we want to install the NuGet provider and then give it a moment to install. All right, looks like the NuGet provider has been downloaded successfully and the install of the AZ module can start. And here's our second prerequisite, letting us know that the PowerShell gallery is an untrusted repository. We just need to click yes to indicate that we do in fact want to install this module. Now this process will take a little while, so this would be a great opportunity to go take a quick break and ask Anthony how his trip to the PowerShell summit was. Well, it looks like our install of the AZ PowerShell module is successful. Let us do a quick check to make sure. Once again, we'll use the get module commandlet. And success. Now we know for sure that we have the AZ PowerShell module installed. Now, even though the AZ module is installed, it's not going to do much for us until we connect it to our Azure subscription using the connect-az account commandlet. Now here's where the process may differ slightly depending on the platform we're using and the current version of the AZ module we're installing. Normally, this command will automatically launches the authentication page. However, we may be asked to open a browser manually and go to the device login page and enter the code displayed here. So what we'll do in this case is we'll copy this code and we'll flip over to our web browser where I already have the device login page loaded and we'll paste the code into there and click on continue. Now from this point forward, the authentication proceeds as normal. Now where we have the dialog asking for our credentials, we need to either enter or choose our credentials from the list. Then we can enter our password and then click sign in. And we just need to give that a moment to authenticate. So we'll flip back over to the PowerShell console. Excellent. As we can see here, we've successfully connected and authenticated to our Azure subscription using the AZ module. Now let's do a quick check to verify that we can see our resources. So in this case, we're going to use the get AZ VM commandlet, and we're going to see a list of VMs that are currently located in the Canada Central location, where I keep most of my VMs. And that came back successfully. As we can see, we have two VMs in the Canada Central location. Now for our final step, let's add the PowerShell gallery as a trusted repository so that future installs of the modules from there go a little bit faster and don't prompt us to confirm each time. So a quick check with the get ps repository commandlet shows us that the PowerShell gallery is currently untrusted. To set it as trusted, we can use the set ps repository commandlet and specify ps gallery as our source and set the installation policy to trusted. Okay, looks good so far, no errors came up. So we'll do another check with the get ps repository and yes, the PowerShell gallery is now a trusted repository. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.